In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five options circle infographic slide in PowerPoint. And as you can see here, I've created one circle in the background and then one hollow circle. And when I click, it will show you the first uh, semicircle here uh, with the different uh, gradient color. And then when I click, it will show you the first option and the text will appear here. Then the second option, third, fourth, and the fifth options. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and make the background as a dark color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes, select an oval shape, just click on the slide. It will create one small oval shape of the size uh, one inches height and width. I'm going to change this to 4 inches height and 4 inches width. Then just align center, align middle. Then I'm going to make it no outline. And I'm going to give some different color. You can see here this color. And I'm just moving this towards more of the left side. Now I'm going to add one more shape, which is go to insert shapes and select this one, which is circle hollow. Again, just click it, shape outline, make it no outline and height and width make as 3.5. And reduce the width by dragging this outside the small orange point. And you can just go to shape fill. I'm going to select a light color, light gray color and just put it on top of it. You can see here, make sure that it is properly aligned in the center or you can just select both of these uh, shapes. Select this shape, hold the shift key, select the hollow circle. Go to format, align, center, align, middle. So you can see here, it is perfectly aligned now. Now I'm going to select this particular shape, press control D to duplicate it and I'm going to cut into half. For example, I, I can just say format, align, center, align, middle. So this part only the right side I'm going to keep, the left side I'm going to delete. For that, go to insert shape, select a rectangle, draw the rectangle covering the left side of the circle. Then I'm going to select the oval shape, hold the shift key and select the rectangle and under format merge shapes just say subtract you can see here i got this one then i can right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to give a gradient fill for this i'll just select the gradient fill and i'm going to make it two stops so one stop i can make it a light orange color and the other side i can make it a dark orange color or whichever like you want to change the color you can change and exactly place it on top of this one and if you want to make it a round uh, curve go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw a small oval shape on top of this maybe zoom a little bit you can just put it and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to shape fill use the eyedropper i'm going to select this color so this one looks big i'm just going to reduce it by holding the shift key and place it exactly here you can see here we got this shape i'm going to select this press ctrl d bring this down and put it here and i'm going to select the color which is this one and you can see here i've got this particular shape and these two shapes, this one and the circle, I can group it by pressing Ctrl G. Now you can give the shadow effect. For first, I'm just going to select this bigger circle. Go to Effects, Shadow. And I'm going to select this one, which is this. If you want, you can increase the distance. And if you want, you can just blur the size. And I'm going to select this. And I'm going to give the same shadow effect also. You can see here. And then I'm going to insert one rectangle covering the half of this circle. You can see here this one. And I'm going to give a light color to this. 
shape outline make it no outline and then send this to back now i'm just going to cut this one so how to cut i'm just going to insert a bigger uh, circle so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d the size is 4 i can make it for example 5 let me just make it 5 yeah and i'm just going to put it here exactly maybe i'll just say send to back let me just give some different color so i know how much i'm going to cut this so 5 is too much let me just make it 4.5 4.5 and just put it here exactly align it properly and then i'm going to select this and this circle by holding the shift key merge shape i can just say subtract so you end up getting this shape so just put it here and then let's work on the other side of the shape so this one now i'm going to add uh, five small circles so for that go to insert shapes select no old shape just click it the size depending on your requirement maybe i'll make it 0 0.85 and 0 0.85 as width also and whichever color you like you can just change the color and shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can give the shadow effect for this also so let me just put one here press ctrl d i'm just going to add here one ctrl d one more this side and you have to make that make sure that you are giving equal spacing press ctrl d one will go here and press ctrl d one will go here all right and now it's time to change the color of your choice i can go and give either gradient fill or i can just go to more colors or whichever color i want to choose i can simply choose uh, different colors depending on my uh, requirement so i can see you can see i'm just selecting some nice bright colors or whichever color you like you can just choose these colors here so I've just chosen the five colors and I'm going to add the icons on top of it. To add the icons, go to insert. Uh, you can select the icons. If you are not using the latest version, these icons are not available. In that case, you can go to this particular website. Let me just type it for you. This is a good website, www.denounproject.com. Let me just increase the size so you can see here this is the slide oh, sorry the website which you can just go and download the icons from so let me just go to insert icons and you have a variety of icons available so whichever icons you like to insert just select it so i need five icons i already inserted five now and i'm going to give the height and width as maybe 0.6 and i'm just going to change the color to white and bring it the other side sorry just move it and then start putting one on each circle you can see here if you want you can reduce the size further of the icons and give the shadow effect for these also you can just select shadow effect and increase the distance if you like and do it for the rest of that one or i can just select all i can just go select this one and increase the distance you can see here now you can just select this also you can give shadow effect for this also if you want again increase the distance and I'm going to add one more shape to the right side to give them the, the text details for each icons. For that, go to insert shapes and I'm going to select this one, which is rectangle top corners rounded. You can see here and then just rotate it. I'm just going to say uh, rotate left 90 degrees and increase the size how much you need. And I'll reduce the, the curve maybe this much and you can give a light color which we have used 
for this one and shape outline make it no outline and again you can give the shadow effect which i'm going to use this one and now it's time to add the detailed text of each option so before adding the text let me just disable these guides and if you want you can add the uh, the text here i'll just say example five options make it white color increase the size and it should be in one line only just put this one if you want you can make it bold and then add your detailed text here i'll just put your title your title goes here and again use the color which i have used for this i'm going to just select these colors for the title and if it is not visible you can just change the color also not a problem so let me just close this for a while and then you can add a detailed text here add your detailed text here and again if you want just change the color reduce the size and to separate i'm just going to use a line as a separator i'm just going to put it a straight line by holding the shift key and again change the color to some dark color you can see here and then i'm just going to select these three objects or the text Control g to group it Control d to duplicate it i'm just going to put this is second one third fourth and fifth fifth i don't need a line i'm just going to select the line and i'm going to delete it now let's uh, just change select this and just change the text according to the color whichever color you have chosen using the eyedropper you can just change it all right so just select one by one and start changing the colors and then let's do the the last part the animation so before adding the animations let me just group this uh, the icon and the oval shape press ctrl g just select this ctrl g one by one you can see here now okay now let's do some animations go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm just going to select this and i'm going to give a wipe effect can you see it comes like this and then this one i'm going to select go to more entrance effect basic zoom click ok and this should happen maybe after previous and then this text should come so this text i'm just going to select add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and effect option say from left and this should happen after previous so if i play now it comes then it comes like this i'm just going to select this and click on the animation painter so instead of doing this one i'm just going to select on click and then i'm just going to use the same animation here now you can see here i've added all the animation let me just play it will show one by one you can see here so we have complete our slide That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.